Hey guys, Tech here. I've been watching how to fix OBS issues and most of the people on YouTube do not talk about rendering lag. My stream has been plagued by rendering lag on and off and today I have finally found the problem. Join me on my live streams every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on twitch.tv slash technical X and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Let's get right into the video. As you can see on the screen for the stats, there's frames missed due to rendering lag and it keeps fluctuating. Um, if you look at the bottom of the screen here, well, I'll put, up, I'll put it up side by side so you guys can see it properly. I go from like 60 frames FPS to about 56, 60 to like 54, 60 to 52. It fluctuates in between that range. And that's annoying and that's a problem. And it, it's a hard issue that a single PC streamer has to deal with not knowing what the problem is and how to correct it. Not a lot of people go into it because they, they say, oh, just disable a bunch of sources and that may not solve the problem because the core issue can be something completely different. So to correct the issue here, I, will, I realize I have way too many games in my gaming scene. So if we go to my gaming scene right here, you can see I have a lot of games in my gaming scene. It's crazy. I don't, I don't know why I have them. I just, you just lose track of you play a game, you add it to the scene, you, you play a game, you add it to the scene. It's a problem because I'm taking this scene and I'm referencing to three different scenes. So I have an FPS scene, which should be camera right. I have a uh, MOBA stream, which is like in the bottom corner. So that's what I do for WoW. And then I have also a browser window, which is not there, but I, I sometimes I put the game overlay there. You can see the inception there, but we don't have to worry about that. What I noticed is that the FPS ring lag would cause problems. First, I thought it was all the scenes that I had, which I spoke previously, but I nuked them all. So I took everything out of the scene. So if we look at my mobile strategy screen, like I have a bunch of here and then the FPS, I have less. So I just basically nuked everything and said, this could be the problem. So once I'm on the scene, that's the active scene. That's what the FPS is going to be like. It keeps constantly fluctuating and you don't know what the problem is until you find out that it's the games folder, the game scene. That is all my games because OBS cannot shut them down for whatever reason that is, is they're always active. They're always ready to, to go in. So if you start a game, it's gonna pop up. So OBS has to constantly check every so often, I guess it's like a tick or a tick rate or something. I'm not really sure the details of it, but they constantly checks to make sure that, hey, are you active? Are you able? And if you have like 20 different games in there, it's going through the list of checking, 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 checking. Meanwhile, you have a game running and my game is stuttering on the screen. As you can see, it's like every couple seconds, it's a skip, skip. And WoW is not a demanding game. So what I did on WoW was I dropped all the settings. I dropped all the settings to about half of what it was. I stored the FPS from 144 Hertz down to 60. Then I dropped it down to 30 and it's still skipping. I dropped my stream down. So if you go to your stream settings, I'm gonna go to stream settings here. I went down to output, actually I went down to video and I dropped my value. So if I drop it down to 30, watch what happens. My stream's down to 30 and right here, see I was on 30 FPS. This 30 FPS, see drops down to 25. So it's not the output resolution. It, it's capping my frames at 30, but we're constantly getting skips. So what I'm doing, what I noticed is if I actually go into the game scene and I start hiding, actual scenes so if i hide all these game scenes i'm gonna overdo it because i know this is the issue and this is the fix for it so i'm just gonna go ahead and go down here and just boom 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 and just basically i'm going to get rid of everything normally it's only like 10 or 12 but I, as you can see i have a metric ton of games so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hide everything now i go back to wow go back to my scene and voila, 60 FPS, no problems. Single PC streaming on RTX 2080. If you have a lot of games in your game source, it's gonna constantly cause a problem. And to correct this problem is you can either do what I did is hide them and then manually go back in there when you're playing that game and unhide them, cool, or you can do what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna remove all the games from that list, load in all my core games that I play, World of Warcraft, Valorant, Legends of Runeterra, and that's the three that I'm playing right now. 
and then all the other games as I add them. If I play them more than twice on stream, I keep them. If I don't, I'm gonna remove them. The reason is I don't want it to get bogged down and have my stream do choppy, choppy, choppy. Whenever you're trying to record a video or do a clip and you have a cool moment and you have these stuttering moments. I've had them even stutters on the simplest games that I play, any retro game, stuff like that. It, it, it's really, really bad and it's really terrible to know that even though you're playing a console game, it's still doing rendering lag because you have all these things in your scene that is constantly being checked and uploaded. That's what I recommend you guys remember. You can do two things. You can manage it by hiding everything in that scene and activating as you need if you want to just keep them all there or keep a steady amount, like probably like two to three games in there and then add them and then remove them. That's what I hope and that's what I think we can do. Uh, I think that's it for the video. I think we covered everything that we needed to and hope this fixed your rendering lag. If you have any issues or if you have any additional tips or tricks that you found out in your rendering lag fixes, please put them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So once I figure out a schedule, I'm gonna post you guys on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'll let you guys know the exact schedule when you can expect videos. But now just know that you'll at least get one video from me, original content per week on my YouTube channel, whether it's gonna be a tech video, a how-to video, a gaming video, anything that I'm interested in, I'm gonna put it all on my channel because I wanna give you guys content and whatever you guys like, I'll just do more and more of that. I'm interested in growing the Jesus Christ brand and making it the best group on Twitch and on YouTube. So I hope you guys join us for this ride. More content from us. Thank you for everything. I'll see you in the next video. We'll chat then.